If you're only thinking about it now, you're behind the eight ball. Mm -hmm. The train has left the station. I mm -hmm. keep saying that, and it's absolutely true, especially when it comes to this topic. So what people need to realize about intergenerational wealth is it's already happening, right? So we're talking about kind of, so, so the boomers, which is my generation, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have the most discretionary income. But this next generation, basically, you know, the millennials, although it, it, it's pretty much anyone born in the mid-90s and okay. later, uh, you know, are, are going to inherit this this opportunity to really think about investments in a totally different way. So when you think about those generations, so technically, you know, the millennials or anyone born between 1980 and 1996. Mm -hmm. But again, look, my son's 26, my daughter's 21. I call them the Robin Hood investor, right? Mm -hmm. But in reality, you know, these are kids who grew up with the internet, right? So anyone who's grown up with the internet, they see the world as very flat. It's no longer what they're taught at home, what they're taught in the classroom. It's what they see. It's what they've learned. The good, the bad, and the ugly of the internet. 